Good morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning in once again. It's Thursday morning. Let's go get started. We've got a good, pretty full day ahead, and I've got to do. I'm gonna start off at the cemetery this morning, go to the church, and then uh, head and hit my every uh, every 10 day yards they're due today. And then um, I have one more that I don't normally do. I fertilize her yard, and I've mowed it once this year. But uh, she wants me to mow the backyard today, so we're gonna go hit it too. And uh, that's about it. it. Should be a pretty good day. All right, I'm here at the cemetery. Uh, obviously, I changed shirts. I've done. This is my third year doing the cemetery, and each of the last two years, late in the season, there's a. Uh, been yellow jackets in there so i'm trying to avoid that or avoid getting stung they're gonna be in there regardless but uh i just don't want to get stung anymore but uh my dad got them the first year I, we was lucky and didn't get stung we seen them first last year my dad was helping me and he got stung like six times uh, i'm right there at those uh those little bushes there on the end i don't know if you can see them or not but they were uh, under them root balls, so uh, I'm going to try to avoid it. I got my gloves. I'm going to weed eat first as usual, so uh, let's get this over with. We're going to see how long it takes me again. I haven't got out of the truck. though. I've still got my stuff locked up right now, everything like that, but uh, it's 827 right now, so uh, we'll see how long it takes me to do this whole thing by myself. All right, it took me about 40, no, it took me about an hour to mow. It's 9.37 now. And, uh, hard part's over with, so, uh, let's get the mower off here. And, uh, get doing that. That'll probably take me about 45 minutes, and then blowing off takes probably about 10. So, not too much longer and I'll be done. But I didn't see any yellow jackets. Uh, changed my shirt. It's burning me up. So hopefully I won't encounter any. Whew, I'm tired. But the hard part's over with, so let's get going. Done mowing at 10.09. I'm gonna grab a quick drink and go blow off, and we will be out of here. Done at 10.21. I think that's a little bit quicker than last week. About a few minutes, about 10 minutes, I think. I think uh, last time was an hour and 55 minutes, or an hour and 50 minutes. So we cut a little bit off of it. Crazy that I only have five more cuts on that cemetery for this year. It's flown by. But I think I only mow it through the end of October, so the second cut in October will be it. But back to the yellow jacket thing I was talking about earlier. If you're uh, if you're weed eating or something, and you get in a yellow jacket's nest. Just go ahead and drop your weed eater. Uh, those little things are attracted to that to the vibration of your engine. So the longer you hold on to that thing, the more is going to come to you. So, I mean, it sucks sometimes, but just drop it, lay it down, drop it, whatever, and get out. Uh, let you know, let the situation calm down. If you have, if you can, shut it off before you drop it. You know, if the button's handy. Mine on my steel is right above the trigger, so all I got to do is slide my thumb up and cut it off. But you know, if you don't think to do that, it's not that big of a deal. Let it run out of gas. It's not not that big of a deal but you know if you have to drop it let it run out of gas whatever just let let them calm down and go back and find the hole and uh you know take care of it with some gas uh, what i do because you don't want to get even after you got them let them sit down or settle down if you got them riled up they're going to be kind of more alert they're alert anyway but just take an empty water bottle and uh Take a pocket knife or something and punch just a little pinhole in the in the lid and the cap. Fill it up with gas. I usually just use two cycle because I don't know why I always do, but usually I don't have straight gas with me most of the time. 
So uh, just fill it up and then stand pretty good ways back and squirt it. Because if you take just a gas can up there, you're having to get really close. So uh, just do that. Or what I've done before is uh, just take the weed eater and uh, unscrew the cap. This is hard to do depending on, depending on what weed eater you have, if it's real heavy. But you can hold the, the trimmer head itself and that end of it and then turn the gas up in the tank and pour it in that hole. So either way, but just, just take care of yourself, guys. Uh, uh, man, once they get on you, you're got. I mean, that's all there is to it. They're, you're you're going to get stung once, at least once. Uh, my first time getting stung by them, I didn't really know what it was. Didn't know what it felt like. Hadn't ever been in them before. And uh, I didn't have sense enough to let go of the weed deer for a few seconds. And uh, man, by that time, they're all over. I got stung like 12 or 13 times, I think. It, they got me good. But uh, luckily I wasn't allergic because I don't live close to the hospital at all. Um, but yeah, just take care, guys. This is the time of year for that. Usually usually you can count on mid to late July uh, until it frosts. you gotta, you got to watch out for them. So uh, just be careful. This one's all taken care of. It doesn't take long, it's not that hard, but I did have to uh, double cut this little patch again. I only videoed the one, but I had to go back over. It's just too thick, too straggly. I ain't wanna leave it looking like that, so uh, double cut it, but that's all. I got a good little drive ahead of me uh, to get to the next one. But we got three more little ones to do. I went ahead and got these two over with early, got the hard stuff done. So now we just got three easy little ones. I swear this has been the weirdest week ever. But it's been a good one. Like I picked up so many yards. It's not so many. But I mean for one week in the middle of summer. I just got a text from uh, 
uh, yeah, a customer I had back in the spring. They had just moved into town and uh, bought, bought a little house. Um, I'd done some work for a, a lady that they that the wife worked with, and uh, they referred me to them. Mowed it for a couple months. Well, then the husband lost his job, so they had to cut you know cut me out, which is understandable. I mean, I, I'm not I wasn't mad about that, but uh, I hated it for them because they got a couple small kids. But uh, she just texted me and said, "Hey, my husband's got a, got a job back, or has got a job. I don't remember what it said." And uh, they want me to start mowing again, so uh, that's good. I'm happy. That's uh, three this week. <laughs> I've not picked up that many all year, I don't think, but that's good. Hey, I'm not going to complain. I'm just plum tickled with that, and I tell you, the, it still ain't in real good shape. I mean, the quality of the grass still ain't that good. There's a lot of weeds, a lot of Dallas grass and crab grass in it. But uh, from what it looked like when I got it and started it to now, is a, a big difference. So uh, that makes me happy to see. I finally got a good set of stripes on it that I can keep on going by. Um, with that one, it's every 10 days, which is not a real long time. I mean, it don't need it any more than that. But it's just hard for a stripe to stay where you can see it that long. And uh, but I finally finally got a little system going where I can stick with the same pattern, and so it you can see it, you know, all the time, not just right after I mow it. So take a little of that one. We're gonna go do one now. Uh, it's real pretty small. I've mowed the front before, but I haven't mowed the back. And this time I'm on the back, not the front. It's kind of weird, but that's what she wanted. Uh, I fertilized this front yard in the spring. I'm kind of excited to see how it's held up this summer. Probably not good as hot and dry as it's been. But uh, we'll see. And uh, then the last one for the day is just a weed eating one. So uh, we'll go knock these two out and go home. It's getting hot and I'm ready to go home. Alright guys, this is the house we're doing. Just the backyard. This is the part I fertilized. It's looking pretty good actually better than I thought it would but uh I've got to check the gate I don't even know if I can fit my mower through it maybe I can maybe 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 yeah I think I can fit through there oh yeah oh my good god Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. Look at this. What a disaster. Alright, I got it mowed. Now I'm just going to uh, weed around the fence. I'm going to keep my mower back here. So uh, when I get done weed eating, that stuff falls over. I'm going to take my mower around and uh, kind of grind it up. Make it look a little prettier. I ran out of gas in my trimmer, I go fill it up, and I'm going to uh, throw that long sleeve shirt back on because I found a, uh, a wasper's nest back there. So, uh, I'm going to try to keep from getting stung, but it's actually going quicker than I thought it would. That stuff's cutting up really nice, so should be done in just a few minutes. Alright, this hellacious mess is done. I have officially seen it all now. Kidding me? I underpriced that to begin with. And y'all seen what a mess it was. So that was, in my opinion, 35 wasn't bad. Uh, and I don't expect a tip at all. I don't ever expect a tip. But when I do that kind of work for that little of a price, don't tell me to leave change. And I only have four dollars, so uh, she didn't want to deal with the other dollar. So that's what she's getting when she gets back. I think that's pretty fair. All right, moving on from that debacle and a big load of crap. 
Um, going to the last one now, it's just one that I weed eat. So, uh, ain't much to see there. The shark falls down so bad. But, uh, going back to that last one, uh, comment and let me know how your customers are about stuff like that. I've never encountered somebody that does that. Usually, they either pay me for what I told them, or they'll give me a little more and say, just keep the change. I've never seen anybody just, like, hey, leave this change. If it had been, like, a regular mowing, at, like, a normal price every week, and somebody left me money and said, hey, if you don't care, leave the change, or something like that, you know, that, I could see that a little more. But y'all seen that backyard. That was a freaking disaster. Like, that part hadn't been weeded in, I don't know, at least six months. Far longer than that. I don't understand. But anyway, going to the last one now, and I'm going home. I do more than just that ditch, but uh, it's just not worth walking around and showing just my weed eating skills. Just the house, those trees, a couple of things in the back, not a bad yard at all. Alright, guys, that's it for today. I'm going to end this, this vlog right here. Uh, my, my, the one I uploaded from the first part of this week was so long. It was like 25 minutes. And I don't want to do that to you all. I respect your time. And uh, I don't want to waste your time. Or I'm not say my videos are a waste of time. But I don't want to drag drag it out. I don't want to respect you and, uh, and just keep it short. So I'm going to end this one today. And uh, I'm going to start back up again tomorrow with another one. But if it's your first time to my channel, I thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, comment with any questions or uh, input, and uh, have a great day. Hope to see you back.